What's up guys, it's Elam here with another video today, the first video of the year. I hope you guys had a great New Year's. I want to apologize for not being able to post yesterday. I had some technical difficulties uh, in uploading my video, including like network issues or probably like slow Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So um, this is technically my first video of the year. Today I'm going to be working uh, with Spiral Art, making Spiral Art and giving you guys a few pointers and tips on how to make it look as good as possible. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos, and leave a like please, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell to keep up with all my latest uploads. So let's get started. Here are examples of um, spiral art. What spiral art is, is you take a big internal gear, gear with internal teeth, and you take a regular gear, and it kind of rotates around. Um, if you still don't understand what I mean, I will show you that, you know, it's very soon so these are examples of it so these are with different gears some of them are with the same gear like for example these two are with the same gear and this is with a different gear and this one is also with a different gear so I'm gonna be showing you mainly uh, how to do it and how to do it really good so let's get started I'm gonna put these aside here's the kit that I have, um, it has, it, it comes with four gears. It has a square gear too, but I don't like it too much because it doesn't really make much of a pattern. Uh, the other three gears are much more impressive than the square gears. So I'm gonna be mainly showing you these two gears. I might even show you the over gear too. So as you can tell, these gears have holes and then they have uh, inner holes and outer holes. So depending on which hole you choose will give you a certain pattern on the um, paper. Each gear makes the same pattern depending on which hole it is, but also uh, it just changes the size of the inner diameter of the hole. You'll see the difference soon. So I'm gonna start with my big gear. And I'm going to use the inner circle so I mean the inner hole so that hole right there I'm gonna take my pen or pencil uh, pen it gives you it looks much better with pen you can also use pencil nothing wrong with that but just say uh, my preference is pen for now so I'm gonna start here keep my pen perpendicular to the paper hold on to the paper tight I mean to the kit tight and then you start drawing this one's much smoother since first of all it's a bigger gear and second of all you're using an inner hole so it's not that hard to um, make. Um, what I'm doing is I'm applying constant pressure to the outside making, making sure the gears mesh at all times. Keeping my pen straight at all times and keeping it firm making sure that, the, that I just do one straight line, well one line drawing basically not picking my pen up because that'll uh, mess up the drawing. I'm also making sure that the gears aren't skipping so that way it works really good and the um, spiral art turns out really well. As you can tell it's starting to make a shape. This takes some time. You can end it right here if you wanted to but I like to do the full thing. It looks really nice at the end. I'm almost done. I got like less than 10 loops left probably that I got to do. And right here, boom, done. You just saw me do that one, uh, like the one that I showed you before. That was with this big gear with the inner circle. Probably the easiest one to make if you ask me and it looks pretty nice. What it looks like. It almost looks like you printed it too, a little bit. So what I'm going to tell you uh, for a quick second is um, management. So this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or a letter size piece of paper. So what I do, I like to do my first one in the corner and my second one in the other corner. So that way I can fit a third one in the middle. So for the next one, I'm going to show you the outer hole of the gear and I'm going to put my drawing over here. So I'm going to do it with this outer hole. This one is a bit harder to do since it's your hand is used to drawing circles not used to drawing these types of spiral art so you're gonna have to be more careful in doing this and 
you always have to apply pressure outwards at all times. Keep your hand firm and make sure the gears mesh. Make sure they don't skip because skipping means that the whole thing will get messed up. So I'm going to start. As you can tell, it makes much um, thinner ovals, long and thin ovals. And it's not as packed, tightly packed in as the other one. As you can see, the starting to form a sort of a, a hole, a circle in the middle. And you can tell that it's smaller than the first one that I made. This gear, um, when you draw with it, um, it will make one loop and then it won't keep going on forever. It'll just make one pattern and that's it. And then the other, the other um, gears, you can keep going basically forever until you just have a big black um, circle, which you'll see in a moment. So I'm gonna finish off my loop. So let's say I kept going like this, it would just make the lines darker. I would just be, what I meant by that this would just do one loop is that I would be basically be retracing my steps if I did it right. But this is what it looks like right here. Looks really nice, honestly. So the other one I'm gonna show you is this tiny gear. You'll see the difference. This tiny gear is a bit different because as you can tell, the holes are a little bit uh, not necessarily organized in a way. Uh, they're also arranged differently from the other gear. You can tell the difference. Like here, they're kind of arranged at an angle. These are arranged straight through. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to show you this one real quick. So I'm going to do the outer hole of that one. Make sure my gears mesh. For a moment I thought it didn't mesh, but actually it does. So As you can tell, it's a completely different pattern from what the other gear was making. Not, not as smooth as the other gear. Oops, look, as you can tell, I skipped. That's it. This is a great example of what skipping does. You can see that I messed up my drawing. I, t I normally tend to mess up on these because it is the outer hole. So I'm gonna try to redo it again for you guys, see if it actually works. I'm gonna try to take it a bit slower this time. Make sure my gears mesh. Once again, you guys can get this kit at the dollar store if you want. Um, it doesn't come with the pen, but it comes with four gears. You saw the three gears. You actually saw all the gears. Never mind, I showed you all the gears, but yeah. This is with the small gear. Starting to make a circle there. Making sure I'm always applying pressure to the outside, making sure the gears mesh at all times. I'm not putting too much downwards pressure, but I'm making sure that um, I'm always applying outwards pressure. As you can tell, I'm going over. Now I'm starting a new loop and it's becoming more defined now. I could go on uh, basically forever, so I'll stop there. That's an example of spiral art with this tiny gear. So now you've seen um, how, I, how you can do some spiral arts and how to do it correctly, examples of what would happen if you didn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I hope you, you've had a great new year and I also um, hope that you like uh, left a like, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, share this video with friends and family. Uh, thank you for all those of you who've subscribed already. I appreciate your support. And for those of you who haven't already, please subscribe and check out all my videos. 
Thank you guys very much, and as always, thanks for watching.